Welcome back. Employment in Singapore has seen its sharpest drop since SARS. Total employment, excluding foreign domestic workers, contracted by nearly 20,000 in the first quarter. Now compare that to 24,000 in the second quarter of 2003. The Manpower Ministry says the drop is due to a significant reduction in foreign employment. Chloe Chu reports. In spite of difficulties since the start of the COVID-19 outbreak, local employment in the first quarter grew at a modest pace. And although overall retrenchments was higher than that of the previous quarter, it remains significantly lower than the peak during the global financial crisis in 2009. However, Manpower Minister Josephine Teo says the data is preliminary before circuit breaker measures for COVID-19 kicked in. Even though the local employment um, is holding up, for now, uh, we are very mindful that uh, companies may well have, uh, you know, implemented uh, measures, cost-cutting measures, in order to save the jobs. So, whilst they are staying in employment, we expect that during this period, there may well have already been some moderation of wage costs. Um, at this point in time, it's hard to tell how widespread this is. But certainly the indications are that uh, um, a good number of companies are already doing so. Economists CNA spoke with agree that there's likely to be a further softening of the labour market. The rise in unemployment in Singapore is likely cushioned by the enhanced uh, job support scheme that was uh, announced uh, in both the resilient and solidarity budget. Uh, by Finance Minister Heng. But post-May, uh, we actually do expect this uh, subsidy to actually fall to as low as 25% for sectors uh, other than the food and services for aviation and the tourism as well. Uh, and uh, with that in mind, uh, most of businesses could actually be less incentivized to actually keep uh, the labour, uh, especially if businesses continue to face hate post-circuit breaker. Although the food and beverage, aviation and retail sectors are most affected, Mr Gunn says pharmaceuticals remains a bright spot, with Singapore expected to play a major role in the production of a vaccine, further boosting the industry. The Singapore Human Resources Institute says certain roles in IT will remain selective in hiring. And although full-time positions are drying up, it's still seeing contract hiring for mid to senior positions. The Institute says besides retraining, it's also important for job seekers to familiarise themselves with the changing market. Keeping abreast uh, with the current changes, with how a particular industries are evolving uh, post-COVID-19 and understanding the, the, the potential lay of the land will also be important for candidates uh, themselves so that you know, post-COVID-19, as long as you are uh, knowledgeable of what the industry has gone through, I think you will stand a better chance uh, to obtain in a, a position out there. The labour movement has also urged employers and businesses to better utilise support schemes available. It also stressed the importance of regular communication between employers and workers or unions in order to pull through this together.